I just wonder, you're back in Raleigh. Have you celebrated in any way with Krispy Kremes or? We went to the Krispy Kreme right away today. We actually, well, right, right, right away. We had some radio stuff to do this morning, and then we headed to uh, Krispy we, we did hit the Krispy Kreme um, with uh, a uh, caravan of police, of Raleigh Police Department um, cars, who I'm sure enjoyed the trip themselves. And when we got done, the, uh, the, uh, the lady who was working the counter came outside and said, what took you so long? We've been waiting all day for you. These people knew we were coming to the Krispy Kreme. We hit the Peace Street, yes, definitely. So it's good to be back in Raleigh. Yes, hot. and we got the hot, we got hot and fresh. <laughs> Hot donuts now. <laughs> Great. So this tour wraps up in August, right? What What's next for you after the tour wraps up? I got to figure out where I'm going to live. Um, I think the goal. I mean, the the idea now is that in order to continue and be successful in in this um, in this arena or this as this field for a while, at least initially, I'm going to need to be based in LA. So uh, Ken Locke and I are looking into um, trying to find an apartment in LA or someplace to stay in LA. Um, I'd love to eventually be based in Raleigh. I mean that's not that would be that would definitely be a goal of mine. But um, right now it looks like I'll be in L.A. Um, the um, and then and as far as the rest of the stuff goes, it's going to be um, it's going to be promoting the album, uh, touring around the country to promote the album, uh, and just kind of opening up do whatever doors or, or seeing looking through whatever doors are um, are cracked for us and see and see what's possible. You know what what um, what is something that I might be interested in doing. I don't know if I want to do movies. I don't want to find know if I want to continue to only record or do I want to. Um, do TV, you know, there's just a lot of, lot of different possibilities that have presented themselves, you know, peek their heads, um, we just gotta, we're going to explore them all. Any likelihood that we'll see a, a from Reuben to Clay or from Clay to Reuben? We would, we would love, I mean, it wouldn't be from Clay to Reuben or Reuben to Clay, but we would love to do a movie together, you know, that Kelly and Justin got to do it, we think ours would be funny too. Um, but I think um, both of our goals in, in picking a movie and, and doing a movie together would be to make sure that it's, it's something that would appeal to people who didn't just watch the show, you know, um, maybe a remake of, of uh, Laurel and Hardy or Abbott and Costello, you know, that type of thing. Something that could appeal to an audience that didn't watch the show, um, um, that could appeal to a really broad audience. So if we go into doing that, if when we're not sure if that's something we want to look into right away, um, if we go into doing that, that would definitely be um, one of our one of the goals. Do you like to be in three, five years still in the entertainment industry or working outside of it? You know, I'm not, I'm not really completely 100% sure. I, um, I know that, uh, that there's, there's, it's not been tested. You know, the success of an American Idol contestant um, winner or runner-up has not been, you know, has not been proven yet. We don't know exactly. I mean, Kelly's doing a wonderful job, um, and and I'd love to be as successful as, as she is um, when I get to where she is next year. You know, um, in three years, uh, I guess it, it just, I guess it just falls back into, you know, I don't know exactly what I want to do. My life was planned out for me, um, in my mind, as a teacher, and I haven't, I haven't really taken the time. I haven't had enough time to sit down and, and explore. You know, where uh, make long-term goals. I'm sure that's something I want to do is to make some long-term goals. But um, I haven't had time to do that yet, so I'm really just kind of riding the wave right now. And you, you've done a lot of work working with children. You're starting the foundation that you were announcing this morning. Any thoughts on how you might be able to uh, use your American Idol success into uh, making that go further? Um, that, that is, that's, that's definitely um, something that I, that I want to do is to make sure to, to use the opportunity that I have, um, any, uh, any forum that I have to speak about that, to, um, to bring attention to the, to the needs for inclusion of individuals with mental disabilities but um but i mean honestly i would i would like to i would love it if the foundation had a longer shelf life than i do um i think you know if i'm if i'm still in this field in five years if i'm still in this field in 10 years i mean that would be a miracle um but uh stranger things have happened i made it as far as i did so um i think that uh but but beyond 10 years like 20 50 100 years e even possibly from now I, I want this foundation to make sure that it has an impact it's making an impact in 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 the area that it's meant to